So uh, players uh, getting very close to uh, ready. There's an interesting score down the line in the reserves preliminary final. Torquay 18 17, Mottawari 1 goal 8. Did they not turn up perhaps? Gee, that's a remarkable score for a prelim final, but uh, I guess that's what it's all about as uh, umpire Tatnell now moves. It was interesting whilst uh, we were just waiting for that message. The umpires had a bit of a conversation. I don't know whether they are looking at people close to the fence or whatever the story was, but. We're about to get underway as the umpire now holds the ball aloft. The siren is sounding and we're just about going now in the second quarter as the ball goes into the air. Grigg back on the ball, comes down straight away to Highland. Off a step, straight away to centre half. Oh, magnificent mark from the side of the pack, Nick Maharis. And uh, that's a magnificent start. Oh, look, Kicking. Grigg's running into uh, to space. He now, uh, well, he's given it by hand to, uh, well, they're going the same way because Henry's gone very, very wide. In fact, over the boundary. Poor choice from Nick Maharis right. there. Should have kicked it, Eric. Should have driven it to the goal square at the very least. Now it's out of bounds on the full and uh, the turnover has taken place. So a little chip inboard for Broom for Bannockburn now. And Broom, will, uh, which way will he go? Not a lot of movement up the ground at the moment. Harding does move down. He's got Harriet, uh, well, he's drawn Harriet out of the contest. Now on centre wing. Good contest. Oh, Maharis, a lovely tap backwards to uh, Jerkovic. That's what he needs to do. Long kick toward the full forward position. Panther basically held out of the contest. Forbes, lovely handball over the top to Panther. Can he pick it up? He does. Over to Hood. Hood, under a lot of pressure. Puts it out of bounds on the full. So a lot of pressure there from the Bannockburn defence. Hoodie, a little disappointed. We've been playing a minute in the second quarter. No change to the score. 3-3 Thompson, four behinds Bannockburn. And Bully to bring the ball back into play. Right beside the behind post. This is where they've got to be Stephen good, Dale. Bully comes in now. Kicks the ball. It's a poor kick. Campbell, best position, but it doesn't go to him. It's picked up by Dorber. Goes by hand. And now sorry, it was Wishart goes by hand. Now comes back to Campbell, goes towards half forward, and a nice looking kick finds Ellis to win Woods on true centre wing. So Woods quickly round the corner, has far, has O'Shaughnessy, and O'Shaughnessy in front of Armstrong takes a mark. Gibbs pushing kick. down the ground, sees him there, goes towards him at centre half forward, Denham and over the top, gets the ball to ground. Now comes down, picked up, kicked off the ground by Hinchcliffe, comes out wide, goes towards Watts. Watts eludes the tackle of. Of Jerkovic goes to Harding, an opportunity here, crosses over 50, kicks on goal. It's a nice looking kick from here. And BJ it. Harding has kicked the first goal for the Bannockburn side at the two minute mark of the second quarter. So Bannockburn now moved to one goal, four, ten. They trail Thompson, three goals, three, 21. Second quarter Raiders bingo scoreboard. Well, that's definitely the start that uh, Sheeds and the Bannockburn boards will be looking for, and it came from one of their better players in Harding, and uh, uh, Mobley got through there, it was going to be a goal, so uh, good play. Uh, good work, young Watts here, attack yeah, the footy. Good, good play, yeah, exactly, and uh, that's what they've got to do, work hard around the footy, make opportunities for the likes of uh, Harding, and he'll capitalise on them for you. So three minutes gone, second quarter, Bannockburn just <coughs> recorded their first goal, can they go on from there? In the middle, Grigg, beautiful tap down, oh, Clark. Tried to uh, crash through the pack, taken high by Harriet. Umpire saw that. Free kick to uh, Clark. Handball quickly out to Broom. They've gone backwards now. It goes to Lewis. A bit of pressure on from the Thompson midfield here as uh, Lewis has a bounce, eludes a tackle, and gets flattened after he's kicked the ball. Very poor effort from McDowell. And the ensuing free kick will go to Clinton Shaw inside forward 50. And that's the sort of discipline that loses your finals, Laurie, when you do stupid things like yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's a stupid thing to do, and uh, sure, we'll probably kick this, and uh, it's going to tighten the game right well, up. Well, exactly he's going to pay the on. penalty because he's coming straight off the ground, and uh, Clinton Shaw now, man on the mark, 40 metres from goal. Shaw moves in, gets underneath, it's gone very high, it's going... It's handsome. It came back, I reckon, on the breeze. It's home, don't and worry. that's a uh, terrific goal. Only just got the distance, Clinton Shaw. Two goals in a minute there for the Bannockburn side, and uh, as a result of a poor disciplinary effort in the middle, Bannockburn go to 2 4 16. Trail Thompson 3 3 21. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard, four minutes gone. And, and this is a, exactly the pressure that uh, Bannockburn have got to apply to uh, Thompson and see if there's any crack, cracks in that armour there. And if they can open it up, who knows what can happen. And uh, this is their, their chance now to get right on with the job. Another quick goal will uh, even this game right up. Matter of fact, give them the lead. 
<laughs> You're right. Well done. You're quick in that board there, Rally. Really. <laughs> it's, it's, it's under 10, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Ball back in the centre of the ground. Dorber and Greg. Dorber won the tap, but cleaned up by Harriet. Nice pick up. Goes towards Senar Ford Forbes. Opportunity. Goes behind them now, picked up by Jackson McLeod, getting support. Broom's able to intercept the handball. Now he's tackled by two Thompson players 20 metres out from the goal square. And the umpire says he had no opportunity there and he'll ball the ball up. So umpire now to throw the ball up. In ruck we could have Forbes and Giles. Tapped down by Giles, goes to Broom. Gets Great a quick tackle. handball out. Picked up by Forbes. Goes on the left foot. Round the corner. McLeod best suited by this. Takes one mark. Grohl grabbing it. Can't take the second. Comes to Gardner. Ball hits the ground. Hood comes in. He's pushed over. Goes tap back to Henry. Henry Ooh. round the corner by foot. He'll get a free kick, if not a another shot on goal, because that's gone through from behind. So Mark Henry from 25 metres out in a 45-degree angle. Favoured by the right side this time and uh, has another scoring opportunity here for Thompson. Silly bit of play there, I think. So, I'd uh, hazard a guess it might well have been Dan Gibbs again, which is, uh, you know, again, poor discipline. I think it was Matthew Lewis, that one. Lewis had yeah. tapped the ball into Madden's arm, into um, Henry's arms. So, Henry. Shot on goal. Umpire comes across and he's missed the uh, second opportunity there. So, I'm behind to Mark Henry. Normally a good kick on goal, too. Takes the Thompson score to three goals, four. They lead Bannockburn two goals for there's a goal in it. And we've gone nearly six minutes. Second quarter, Raiders bingo scoreboard. So Broom does the kicking in for uh, the Bannockburn side. The lead came from Watts. Picks it up. Runs around a big arc. Finds Lewis. Half-back flank. They're still uh, just outside defensive 50, Bannockburn. But they have control of the football. Goes down the middle of the ground. Looking for Gibbs. He's got Maharis there. Ball uh, eludes a number of players. Perkins gets the uh, run of it. Oh, good work, Dowie. Made uh, good ground to get to that uh, contest. Picked up by Deniman. Off a step goes towards half forward. Off hands. Now Forbes does well. Oh, Ten high nine. tackle on Gardner. Goodness gracious, umpire. Jeez. And uh, you can't... Uh, that's unbelievable that uh, at this standard, the umpire would miss that. Everyone at the ground saw it. Dowie, courage. Tried to pick the footy up, but uh, comes to uh, Harding. Tried to bounce. Jim. It doesn't bounce for him. Jim, Handball. Good play. Well, it comes out uh, Gage to Grig by hand. <laughs> and Grig, a huge kick. It's going to land inside the uh, forward 50. Attacking the football there was Burley. Couldn't pick it up. Gets a handball back. He's run into uh, Timmy Gardner. And, uh, oh, well, we're Work McLeod because he hooks it around the body. Forbes, he's made the vision back. And, uh, oh, gee, Lewis uh, tackled him pretty hard after the mark. But the umpire said no. Fair enough. And Marcus Forbes now, 25 metres from goal, 45 degree angle, has the opportunity to increase the Thompson score. Terrific attack on the footy. Jackson McLeod there. Hooked it around the body. And now Marcus Forbes moves in. Good looking. Kick Straight up the boot. Straight over the goal umpire's head. That's... Uh, well, almost the uh, second kick, I reckon, for Forbes, but he's kicked the goal. Four goals, four, 28, Thompson. Two, four, 16, Bannockburn. Raiders bingo, second quarter scoreboard. Just ticking towards eight minutes. Yeah, I'm not doing Forbes' stats, but I think you're right, Eric. He's, that's his second kick. Jackson McLeod's, I am doing. He's only had one kick, and that was it. You just called. Great contest He's, he's done a couple of very nice tap-ons, I've got to say, young Jackson McLeod. Look, look I think uh, Bannockburn's uh, urgency to the footy's uh, in intensified a little bit. You're going to give him a few, a few free kicks away, but you've got to go hard for the footy. That's the way to do it. So back in the centre of the ground, this tack, the forward by Grigg, uh, picked up by uh, Clark, or tries to pick it up. And under the ball is now Highland, and Jerkovic is in there as well. He's a terrier, the umpire isn't says we're going to ball the ball up. So Grigg against Dorber. Ball to be thrown up just outside the uh, centre position there. Greer again wins the ball, comes down to Highland, gets the ball going quickly forward by foot. Maharis comes out, leads in possession. This time it goes over the top and then running back onto the ball is Van Ingen. Has McLeod in pursuit, kicked off the ground by Gardner and it's gone through for a behind to Tim Gardner. So Gardner's second behind in the afternoon. Thompson's fifth. They move to four goals, 5-29. They lead Bannockburn two goals, 4-16. So Broom now at the nine-minute mark of the second quarter to kick in again for Bannockburn. It's a long kick, well outside 50. Good lead there from Wishart. Takes the mark in front of his face. 
Outside defensive 50, back into the corridor. That's much better positioning for the Bannockburn side. Woods, juggling attempt, but does uh, hang on to the mark. I don't know about the kick there, and uh, Christian Highland read that beautifully. He goes very wide. The lead out there, I'm not too sure. He's kicked it straight back to... Uh, to no, Wishart, is it? Yep. And uh, so on half-back flank, I don't know where Highland was going. They're falling for the same trap, I believe, that... Uh, Bannockburn did in the first quarter. There's a diving mark attempt as, uh, well, Alistair Woods was stiff. It was a oh, magnificent what? tackle by O'Cole. He had the ball and just dropped it. Had nothing else he could do, but it was such a very, very good tackle from O'Cole. So free kick to Thompson. O'Cole now back into the forward 50. Big pack of players and, uh, well... I reckon Nick Maharis was certainly interfered with before the contest, but Alistair Woods dropping back into the defensive half for Bannockburn has taken the saving mark for them. I don't know about the kick. He's kicked it straight to a nest of uh, Thompson players, and uh, Aaron Bradley, I reckon, is having an absolute shocker. That's that, a ball. Uh, that ball, uh, he went for a mark, went straight through his hands and nearly uh, knocked his head off his shoulders. But the terrific uh, tackle, Jade Gurkovic. He's now called to play on, attempted the handball, has to kick long towards half forward, not a good kick and uh, in the road there is Woods. Ten and a half minutes gone, second quarter, 4-5 Thompson lead Bannockburn 2-4. Woods transfers a play to the far wing, but Bradley coming up the ground again, tries to pick the ball up, stand by Campbell, now has another opportunity, oh it's Gage, sorry, picks the ball up, spins out, goes to Hood, Hood a shot on goal, going towards goal and it's oh. gone through I think. Oh. I think he's kicked Brent it. Brent Hood. Yes, it's a goal. The tackle swung him around and, and he lined the kick up. Heading the right way, and uh, Brent Hood, a miraculous kick around the corner there, but good strong work there by Gage over the top of the ball. Saw the ball into Hood's hand, and now Thompson moved to five goals five and opened up that bit of breathing space again. They lead Bannockburn two goals four. They're uh, go doing very well in the centre here, though, uh, Dale uh, and uh, Thompson. The, uh, each clearance they've been able to get, and they're just going a little bit too wide, but they're getting the clearances. So 11 minutes gone, Greg again, nearly dominating that ruck. It comes down to uh, Hinchcliffe, but his kick is intercepted by uh, Coley. A long kick from him towards half forward. Numbers with Bannockburn, 4-1, to one, but I tell you what, they all overran it, and Timmy Gardner just toe-poked it through, runs onto the footy, picks it up there, the duck underneath the tackle. Now he's uh, the numbers there, but Thompson desperate at the drop of the footy. Christian Highland, handball out. Can he find Hood? He can, but Hood can't pick it up. Gee, there's some pressure in there at the moment. Gurkovic, he picks it up, gets it on the boot. A funny-looking kick right across the face of goal. Numbers there with uh, Thompson as uh, McLeod makes good ground. Picked up by Greg. Handball back to Gage, running into the open goal. Doesn't normally kick these, and he doesn't kick that one either, <laughs> but uh, the opportunity... Certainly there, Thompson, good teamwork. They've kicked up behind. Five goals, 6.36. They lead Bannockburn 2 4 16. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Just ticked past 12 minutes. They've certainly lifted a, a notch, haven't they, in the last five minutes, Thompson? Yeah, they certainly have. Uh, Cal, there's no doubt about that. Broom brings the ball back in, goes towards Harding, and Harding takes a diving mark in front of the scoreboard. 40 metres out from goal. So again, goes short over the top. This time Nick Farr, who's gone into the ruck, takes the mark, has Highland, goes onto his left, goes towards centre wing. Woods is your target. Bradley tries to knock the ball forward. Jerkovic again cleans up with the, with the uh, reading of the play. Goes by hand to Dowie. Dowie now spins around, kicks towards the centre-half forward position, but Dan Gibbs it is this time who takes a relieving mark. Dan Gibbs, true centre-half, back position, looking for options down the ground. Danny Burner got to move it quicker than this. Nothing there at the moment. Goes sideways. Nick Farr. Halfback flank. Goes wider on the far wing now. Bully. Pushed towards centre wing. Takes the mark. Stephen Bully. True centre wing. Comes back towards the centre half forward position. Woods has made position this time. Bradley in from behind. Ball comes to the ground. It's cleaned up by Denham. Goes to hand. Goes to Bradley. Bradley puts the ball on his foot. Goes towards centre half forward. Oh, Meharis. Certainly, I don't think he tried to mark that. I think he did try to tap it over the back, but was cleaned up by Bannockburn. Now when the harms of Harding coming along centre wing, has his third bounce, ambles towards that position, now goes over the top, and Shaw, leading up the ground, has taken a mark. Outside 50, Clint Shaw working hard up the ground. Goes now towards Woods. He'll be the target off the side of the boot. It's probably favoured Woods in this case. And the fight uh, attempt to smother the ball by Bradley and Alistair Woods will be getting the resulting free kick. He's shocker, Bradley. Yeah, well, he got the handle on one there before. That's the first one for the day, I think, uh, Eric. Uh, you have those sort of days sometimes. And, uh, 
wouldn't be a good job taking Woods Hill, though, no, I would no, think. I so agree with that too. He's had some big targets and he's done it pretty well, Bradley. But uh, Woods now with an opportunity would be probably 45 metres out. Goes across the front of goal. Can't be marked and the ball is rushed through by Armstrong to the Bennington side. One behind. They now move to two goals, five, 17. They trail Thompson, five goals, six. 14 minutes gone, second quarter, Raiders bingo scoreboard. Savali Armstrong to kick in for the Thompson side. He's uh, whistled to uh, play, doesn't make the mistake this time. Beautiful kick straight down the middle of the ground. It's going to land almost in the uh, right, centre square. And uh, Mark... 50. Well, that was, that was poor umpiring in the fact that he took a long time to blow the whistle. So uh, Lewis, great mark there, kicks it to the lead at half forward. Gurkovich oh, dives on the footy, handball over the top, looking for Gardner. They're mucking about with it, Thompson, and uh, Madden, the offender on that occasion. And this time it's into the forward pocket. Riley picks it up, immediately tackled. He uh, gives the ball away, and uh, free kick for incorrect disposal. Free kick taken by Wishart. Riley surrounded there, nowhere to go, and had to give the free kick away. So... Thompson looking a bit ordinary at the moment, Laurie in defence, I'd suggest. Yeah, a bit rattled there. So the kick, uh, well, the check side a long, long way away from uh, Wishart to be doing a check side, but uh, it does find its way through the behind area. So another behind to the Bannockburn side. 2 6 18. Trail Thompson 5 6 36. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 15 and a half minutes gone. As Armstrong moves into. Uh, Get the ball. This is where they're uh, having trouble, Laurie, getting the ball away from the well, defensive area from a kick in. That's right. I see uh, Tim Gardner up in the back pocket there. I mean, well, that's a much that's better, better effort, and the ball uh, is in the middle of the ground. It's uh, ended up in the arms there of Henry. Going. He's had two bounces. He can run. He's had three. Runs the forward 50. Oh. Puts the ball on the boot under a bit of pressure, certainly. It's ended up in the forward pocket. McLeod makes it good. And. The uh, they're a little, very, very lucky there, I'd suggest, Thompson, because McLeod was deemed out before he kicked it, when he did kick it, kicked it straight into the behind pass. That would have been a free kick. But as it's turned out now, the ball will be thrown in five metres from the behind post for the Thompson side. Kicking in this quarter to the northern end as uh, I see Clark come off. Can you see he's coming on for Bennickburn? Gibbs. 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 So uh, the ball thrown in. Deep in the attacking area for Thompson. Ball comes down. Gibbs can't control it. It's a bit like a basketball as it falls into the arms of Nick Maharis. He's hooked it around the body right across the face of goal and out of bounds on the fall. So both forward uh, areas working very, very hard to uh, try to get a score and they're not easy. In fact, there's not, not too many easy ball out there at the moment. 16, almost 17 minutes gone as the free kick goes to Burley. It is 5-6, leads 2-6. Thompson in front. So Burley with a kick towards the halfback flank and Perkins has come up the ground, takes the mark just outside the 50 metre zone. He turns and goes quickly towards Resinger but can't pick the ball up. Jerkovic again picks the ball up by end. Greg running over 50. This will make the distance whether he has the accuracy. Goes to the goal square over the top. That's a a mark. mark being taken by Hood again I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. He probably could have let the ball go but uh, Brent Hood typical Rover style there takes the mark and says I want it on my scorebook. Mate he's a dangerous forward Hood. He's a dangerous good player pace. on this ground, player, on this ground he's, isn't he? He's had kick number nine. He's going to kick goal number three. The umpire wanted to do him around, but he said, I'm going to kick straight from here, and that's gone through for a goal. So Brent Hood, having a wonderful afternoon, kicks his third, and Thompson six goal. They move to six goals, 6.42. They lead Bennettburn two goals, 6.18. And 17 and a half minutes gone. Second quarter, Raiders bingo scoreboard. Well, this is the thing that's going to count in the end of the day. Russell Grigg coming off for a spell now. JJ into the ruck, and uh, they're going to have fresh legs at uh, quarter five here. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, but uh, Bennington don't appear to be using the interchange, although it's no. a bit difficult. We don't see all of them. Oh, I've been watching. They're, not, they're using it very sparingly. <coughs> Not as much as they did in previous weeks. So the ball has come back to the centre of the ground now. The umpire to throw it up. Far and Justin to do the tap work here. Justin gets the ball down. Picked up by Wishart. Can't get it because he's tackled by Gardner. Slung to the ground. No opportunity there, says the umpire. And he says, give it back to me. So back in this. Just uh, moved about 10 minutes from the centre circle this time. Come over the top is Far. Gets the ball down. Picked up by, or kicked off the ground by Resinger. Goes towards the centre of the ground position. And Jerkovic again picks the ball up. Goes by hand as he does normally to Justin on his right foot. Goes out towards half back forward flank. Maharis leads Gibbs. Drops the ball on the ground. Gets up. Picks the ball up. Does well. Goes by hand. Finds Denman coming down the ground. They're fumbling around a bit, but it's going back to Maharis. And a poor kick going forward. Hits Dave Gibbs on the chest. Gibbs goes 
goes quickly towards centre wing. In front is Perkins. Ball spoiled. Goes to Wishart. He taps the ball back to to Perkins. Yeah, it is, and Perkins has got a free kick there for not see. having the ball. So Probably a good Dean professional Perkins. free kick. Perkins goes quickly towards O'Shaughnessy. Good contest there from Deniman. That's a free kick again this time to O'Shaughnessy for a push in the back. And it is won there by John O'Shaughnessy. So O'Shaughnessy gets the ball going quickly towards an half forward. And Nick Farr has taken the mark outside 50. Spins and turns. Shaw's the target, but Harding coming up the ground. Oh, nearly picks up a good half volley, but can't get there just quite. Henry now has the ball. Goes back to Bradley on the left side. Bradley around the corner. Has Riley working. Picked up and picked off by what? By Reek. Reek looking for Harding. Can't get the dis distance on the ball. And it goes and a free kick to the Thompson player and Sabali Armstrong now relieves pressure with a kick quickly to the centre wing Mark is dropped by Hood picked up by O'Shaughnessy goes to Watts now to Gibbs in support is Highland oh, good pick up by Highland gets out spins onto the left foot Forbes presents down the ground takes a mark has the opportunity plays on the left side looks back to the corridor Jackson McLeod leads up the ground can't get that Hood again Brent Hood. Oh, it's one of his easy ones too for Brent Hood that's his bread and butter and Brent Hood has missed to the left side but nevertheless that's a snother behind there and they now move to six goals seven 43 they lead Bannockburn two goals six 18 so 20 minutes gone in this uh, second quarter as Burley kicks it in very quickly to the middle of the ground numbers there with Thompson in reality uh, Lewis does well tackle without the football and uh, will take the free kick so Lewis of Bannockburn at centre half back the umpires uh, not too sure Oh, I see the umpire's calling he's them out on the mark a, a little bit uh, straighter on the ground. I don't know for why. Ball to centre wing at the back of the pack. It's, uh, Woods missed the mark, but he does well at ground level. Long handball has found far, far now. Back onto the left foot. He set uh, Shaw a decent task. He put it in front by a long, long way. He does well, Shaw. Got the footy. Uh, uh, taken off him, however, from uh, McLeod. Picked up the crumb and a long kick to space on the half forward flank. Nobody out there at all. Gibbs, the first to get there. That's uh, David. He kicks it uh, back to McLeod. McLeod now plays on quickly. Not a good kick again. Oh. Straight back to uh, the uh, defensive area. Was that Perkins? Picked up the footy for uh, Van Ingen. Van Ingen, sorry, and uh, the, he kicks it towards half forward and the ball off hands. Bradley, oh, he's uh, taken forward in the tackle. No free kicks at the umpire. Gee, some of these umpiring decisions, I thought they'd be good, but uh, they're confusing me as the ball is out of bounds. 60 metres from the behind post, 21 and a half minutes gone in this second quarter. As the boundary umpire puts the ball back in again. Lewis up high, down as far as Gardner. Does break the tackle. Gets the ball to boot towards half forward. Gibbs David picks up the ball. Round the corner to Van Ingen by hand. He uh, kicks it towards centre half forward. That's better. The chance. Oh, oh. Up there, goes Nick, Nick Farr has taken the big skyscraping mark on the back of Nathan Deniman. Now he kicks it to the forward oh. pocket. And uh, they created the loose man there. As Wishart drifted down, I think... Uh, Far's man might have caused Deniman to go for him and that left Lewis, uh, at least Wishart, free. And uh, good work by the Bannockburn forwards there. They created a bit of confusion. And the opportunity here for James Wishart, 25 metres out, 45 degree angle, and uh, moves in. Desperately needs this goal. It's a good looking kick. The goal umpire has not moved until he now comes back to the middle, puts two hands up, and James Wishart kicks his first and the third for Bannockburn. Three goals, <laughs> six twenty-four Bannockburn. They trail Thompson six seven forty-three Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Almost 23 minutes gone. Yeah, well, that was the, the mark of the day, uh, up to date, for, for Nick Farr there. But uh, that's what happens when you can catch the footy. He caught him out of play and uh, was able to switch around and kick a beautiful uh, kick into that forward pocket. That's an easy goal. That's the way to play the game. So Dolba replaces Resinger and Campbell replaces Reek. Getting late into the second quarter now. 23 minutes in ruck over the top. Dorber does well. Picked up at the grand level by Bannockburn. Can't get a clearing thing. But O'Coley picks the ball up. Goes by hand to Riley. Riley from centre half forward. Goes over the top of a kick. Goes forward and Brent Hood has taken another mark in front or from behind actually. So the big marking forward in Brent Hood. He was out. Uh, Campbell's trying to outbody him and it went the other way. Has uh, an he's opportunity. Pretty, he's got some footy smarts this kid and... Uh He's coming up for kick number 11. So Brent Hood comes in, 30 metres out, nearly directly in front. That's a better looking kick on goal. And I think that has gone through because the umpire's gone back to the centre of the goal square. So Brent Hood's fourth goal for the afternoon. 
and a very quick response from the Thompson side. They move to seven goals, seven. They lead Bannockburn three goals, six. 24 minutes gone. Raiders, second quarter Raiders bingo scoreboard. Well, Damien Clark back onto the ground there, but uh, uh, Thompson and Bell uh, need to change some of their very good players. Djurkovic, I think, had a sensational first half, and he's having a bit of a spell at the moment, so that's not going to do him any harm, and you've got uh, Russell Grigg there with him on the bench, so uh, JJ's come on and done all right, though, Eric, it's yes. in, in the middle. But good, good body as the ball goes in the air again. The uh, tap down comes to Clark, held without the footy, tried to crash through the tackle, lost the ball. Denneman, he's lost it also. JJ picks it up to her, Coley by hand. He uh, kicks half forward, Gardner, mishandled the footy. No. Handball straight to Watts for Bannockburn. Now he uh, handballed now Great numbers man. with uh, Bannockburn. It goes to uh, David Gibbs. He has a bounce, kicks it towards and half forward. And uh, on his own there is Wishart once again. So... Uh, once they start moving the football of Bannockburn forwards, the Thompson defence has been caught out twice in a couple of minutes here. As we tick now into time on in the second quarter, James Wishart, kicker of the last goal for Bannockburn, has the man on the mark at 45 metres from goal. Wishart now moves in. Not a bad looking kick off the boot. He's hooked it to the left, but it's coming back on the breeze. Big pack there, touched off hand, so we'll give a behind off the boot to Wishart. And that's the seventh for the Bannockburn side. 3 7 25. They trial Thompson 7 7 49. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. 25 and a half minutes gone. And uh, I can tell you, Mark, uh, no, sorry, who's over there? Daniel Gibbs and uh, Nick Maharis. Toe to toe there a minute ago. So the ball's been brought back into the ground quickly. Ball comes in towards the half back line now, and Riley does well. Can't take the mark, but recovers quickly. Goes back towards centre wing. Watts is in there with Gage. Tackle. Oh, Gage picks the ball up. Good tackle there. Maybe could have been a world of the free kicks. He's spun in a couple of times, but Dorber has the opportunity now. Picks the ball up. Goes backwards by hand. Goes back to Gibbs. Gibbs has time to steady. Look down the ground. Gets around Maharis. Oh, a poor looking kick under pressure. Good work there from the Thompson side. Giles has a chance. Oh, Bruce being knocked over by Ford. Picked up by Hood. Goes forward but towards Sanar Ford. Running back with the fly of the ball. Hood. But Bully coming the other way. Does well. Reads the play well. Takes the bound. Steady. Goes towards centre of the ground. And O'Shaughnessy takes the mark in front of Bradley. So there's been a change there. O'Shaughnessy gets around Bradley. A good chase from Bradley. Picks him down as he kicks the ball. And that allows... Dowie to move across the half-back line and take the mark. So Dowie to relieve some pressure. Goes short to the centre of the ground. And Highland just inside the centre square. Turns, plays on. Goes towards half-forward. Justin O'Coley. O'Coley takes the mark. Plays on. Gets the head support there from Gardner. Goes back by hand. Short kick. Just short of Panther. Can't pick the ball up in the half volley. But Gardner comes through again. Picks the ball up. Gets through one, two, three tackles. Kicks the ball as he's, as he's slung to the ground. Goes towards the half or the forward pocket. And Robbie Giles from Bannockburn has the opportunity to clean up. Oh, dangerous kick back across the front of goal. And Damien Clark dies. Can't take the mark. But has time to pick the ball up. Now has Wishart longer towards centre wing. And Wishart... Goes, but the ball falls short and goes into the hands of Brad Watts. So Watts, long kick around the bench line in front. Bradley over the top. Woods, good work. Clicks the ball up quickly. Gets it along the ground towards centre wing. And the ball goes over the boundary line just to the uh, left-hand side of our broadcast box here. So uh, need to get some more efforts pushing forward here at the Bannockburn side. Bradley leaves the ground. Tommy Harry back on. So 27, almost 28 minutes gone, second quarter. Ball uh, adjacent to our broadcast position. Comes down to McDowell. D just round the corner to uh, Harriet. Just back on the ground. He shepherds for uh, Highland. He goes the long kick towards Forbes, leading forward. Oh, Forbes yes, takes the mark. Infringed from behind by Robbie Giles. He's got away with that one. And the mark taken by Marcus Forbes. He's just outside 50. Would take a huge kick to, from there. Nick Maharis is in the goal square signalling to uh, have a go. And uh, that's what he's going to do. The long kick from Forbes. It's a huge Beauty. kick. It's going to land in the goal square. It's a goal. It went through, through hands and Point. touched. Ooh. So big kick, kick there from uh, Marcus Forbes. It is a behind. Another behind to Thompson. Seven goals, 8-50 Thompson. They lead Bannockburn 3-7-25. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. 
28 and a half minutes gone. Ball's been brought back into play and David Gibbs takes the ball and carries the ball outside 50. Goes short to Matthew Lewis. Lewis turns, comes towards the half forward line. Woods working hard across the half forward line. Has the ball in front of him. Taken off the ball by Gage, but he uh, can't take the ball with him. And Woods is good enough to take one bounce, two bounces. Has the ball come back to him. Goes to half forward. Kicks looking for Harding. Harding's made good position and will be awarded a free kick there for Armstrong hanging on to him as he came towards the ball. So... BJ Harding. Well, I don't know if you saw that, uh, Smithy. Uh, Armstrong got caught uh, taking his eye off the footy, and he was in no man's land, didn't know where he was, and uh, when he did realise he had to put a bit of a tackle on, was caught uh, holding the jumper of BJ Harding. So Harding, 25 metres out, 30 metres out. He's on a bit of an angle here, not the good side for a right footer, but as a goal kicker, Harding, great opportunity here for Bannockburn. Late in the second quarter, 29 minutes, 29 and a half minutes gone. Harding comes in. Shot on goal. Looks good off the boot. It's going across the front, has it? No. Umpire says that looks okay because he's come back to the right spot. And that's a goal to Harding for the Bannockburn side. So Harding second for the afternoon. Bannockburn's now with a much needed goal. Moved to four goals seven. They trail Thompson seven goals eight. And 30 minutes have passed into the second quarter. Raiders bingo scoreboard. Their handy goals at that stage of a quarter loss. Certainly, uh, I was expecting the siren maybe to do something stupid then and go when you're about <laughs> to have a kick, but uh, it must be pretty close because it wouldn't have a lot of time on it, wouldn't it? No, thought? there's uh, three, only about uh, seven goals for the quarter, so I wouldn't think it'd be too far away. 30 minutes tick by, as Dale mentioned. Now the ball back in the middle once again and will go in the air from the umpire's hands. Justin, Justin gets the tap down. Ball's a stale, mate. No, it does come out. There's Thompson through uh, Justin. Just sheer strength. Took the footy, broke the tackle, goes out towards the half-forward flank. Ball bounces straight up Whoa. into the air. Taken there by Gibbs. He's taken high. And, uh, well, just as McDowell's heading goalwards. Whoa. Very, very fortunate not to have it turned around, I would imagine, as the umpire uh, chose not to see what happened there. But uh, it's taken by uh, Gibbs. Finds Lewis. Middle of the ground for Bannockburn. Can they get another before the, uh, the break? Dowie does well against Farr. Far does well at ground level, picks it up, kicks it around the body. Coming towards the ball there it was Armstrong. That's a good effort. Big hand up. Watts, handball over to O'Shaughnessy, running into the open goal. O'Shaughnessy, oh, across the face of goal. An opportunity missed there. As the siren sounds, would have been a fantastic finale to the second quarter for Bannockburn. It wasn't to be as the ball drifts across the boundary line. The siren has sounded. It is half time in the second semi-final.